Georgia, greetings. Thank you for being here. For Hi, those Jennifer. of you that don't know, Georgia is the young lady who runs our social media marketing. And for those of you that phone and ask me how I'm getting it right, Georgia is the reason. Over to you. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. I'm excited for this new format. So I think in the interest of time, maybe we can just jump right in. What's going on here? What have you got for us today? Today, we are going to look at the Grow Bank paving project completed by KBAC Flooring up in Johannesburg and the project being done in Pretoria. What exactly am I looking at? I can see there's timber battens and then obviously a paver, but what are those things in the middle? What you're seeing there is the top section of the cradle with the cross, and it's into that section that the pavers or porcelain tile would fit. And then okay. you've got the bottom section of the cradle, which yeah. is where the batten will fit. One of the benefits of using this uh, cradle system is that we can actually use whatever batten you would like. So whether it's timber, alumin, aluminum, composite, whatever mm. batten suits the occasion, you're able to mm. install it in our cradle system. Okay. You said you actually have one with you. Can you maybe... Give us a little have, demo. <laughs> I, I, do, uh, I do have them with me. And the issue here is as simple as this. This is the bottom section of the cradle. You will see that the gap between the two legs in this cradle is 50 millimeters. And oh, it's yeah. into this cradle that we actually place the shims, which allow for the easy micro leveling of the system. And then it's on top of this cradle that we actually put the top cradle which allows for the placement of the pavers, porcelain tiles, ceramic tiles, whatever the finished floor needs to be. So that okay. is the system in, in real life. Okay, cool. That makes sense. And what happens if the floor needs to be raised more than that? That's an easy one because all we do there is we add the base, the base packers. This is a, a, okay. a 10 millimeter base packer. It's a male, female sort of configuration. All we do is add that underneath and we can build that up to about 150 millimeters. But in this instance, we went all the way through to 290 millimeters. So what was the situation with this particular job? What were the specifications? No, the first one was that it had to enable the collection of water on the slab to be part of a water articulation system. The idea was that the large area would collect the water and it would be channeled into a system that would recirculate it through the building. So that allows them to save water. And of course, that's going to be very important in the future. That's quite amazing. Yeah. One of the advantages of our system is that because there are gaps between the pavers, whatever water flows over the pavers will eventually land up mm. being part of the reticulation system. Okay. The next problem that needed to be sorted was, of course, as you can see from the slide, the waterproofing. Mm. And whatever system was placed on this particular slab could in no way damage that waterproofing. And the okay. advantage of our cradle system is that because it's loose laid and because it's rubber on, on the waterproofing system, okay, there's no threat to the waterproofing at all. The other issue that needs to be addressed is that for the water articulation system to be effective, mm. the slab had to have a fall. And okay. our system can be installed on an uneven surface and ensure a level finished floor surface. Mm. So now here we're using the paving cradle to easily level the surface and at the same time raise it. If it's mm. done correctly, you can work to within a millimeter tolerance of sure. the, da the datum. So it really is simple, but very clever. Right, the next issue was that the system needed to be lightweight and structurally sound. Now, when you're looking at a deck of about 1,600 square meters, you can imagine the increase in the weight to the entire building if you need mm. to pour concrete to get to the required levels. Well, our system enables the very quick, easy installation of a structurally sound system. And then the other issue that had to be addressed was there needs to be access to the substrate because of the waterproofing at any point throughout the entire paving project. And our system, again, because everything is loose lay, nothing is permanently fixed. Mm. You're able to pick up each individual tile or a section of that installation with, with absolute no difficulty whatsoever. Mm. The original picture you showed us of the green cradle, 
you described it as rubber, but to be honest, it looks like plastic. Can you tell me a bit more about that? It's definitely not plastic. It is recycled truck tires. Why we identify these products is, is because it's part of the circular economy. So mm-hmm. in South Africa, truck tires are being collected, taken to the factory, broken down into granules. And from those granules, products are being manufactured that when and if need be, are able to be recycled very, very easily. And okay. I'm hoping, and it's in the process of being scheduled, that we're going to have the honor of having Dr. Mirren Zarabini on our next broadcast mm, to explain okay. exactly what his business does in the rubber coming industry. Yeah. I think what's important to highlight about what you were saying is that tires usually end up in landfills and they take a very long time to degrade, but when they do, are very toxic and end up polluting groundwater, soil, that kind of thing. George, it is it is important. Used tires are a problem worldwide. Mm. The, the excess of them is a very, very difficult problem to solve from an environmental point of view. And this is one mm. tiny step in the right direction. Mm. Yeah. So it's an all-round green cradle. <laughs> well, I think I don't have any more questions for now. So from the marketing team, stay stay tuned, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful. Thanks, Jonathan. Lekker. <laughs>